I came to ECW and uh, the boss, Paulie, said, we've got a gimmick, we have an idea for you, we'd like you to be Spike Dudley. And I went, okay. And they said, okay, you're Spike. And I went, okay. And I went out and I wrestled as Spike for the next five years. Um, not just for ECW, but for every promotion. I did work for Indies on the side with, with ECW. And I never thought anything of it. I just assumed, okay, now I'm Spike, whatnot. And then I got to the WWE, and when I, they got to the WWE, they gave me a contract that said, um, sign this and you have a job. And at the time, I was desperate for a job, so I signed it. What it says on that contract is, we own you. We own everything about you and every, any likeness and any character and any name. We own everything about you. There's nothing you can do without our express written permission. Well, at the time, I wanted to you know, pay my rent, so I signed the contract and I went. And again, I didn't think anything of it. Um, for years, wrestling was always um, an independent, kind of an underground uh, industry where you never had to worry about a lawyer coming out and suing you for a copyright. You know what I mean? Like uh, Paulie, who was in charge, Paul Taylor. In, Paul Dangerously, who was in charge of ECW, would never bust my chops about copyright infringement. Um, I made the gimmick, I mean, he gave me the name, the gimmick was created by me. So I wrestled for the WWE for five years and didn't think anything of it, and then they fired me, or didn't fire me, they released me, they didn't re-sign me to my, to, you know, my contract extended, ended, and that was it. Uh, on the day that my contract ended, I got a letter from them saying, you must cease and desist anything in relation to Spike Dudley and all similarities or likenesses you can no longer use. And I just went, what the fuck? Can you say that? Can you say fuck? Okay, I said, what the fuck? Because uh, it's not like the WWE created Spike Dudley. They just took me and gave me a greater platform. But, uh, I mean, let's face it, I created the character. Nobody gave me guidelines. Nobody gave me rules. Um, and now, all of a sudden, after being Spike for 10 years, they came and said, sorry, you can no longer be Spike. Which is kind of funny, because um, I actually own the copyright. But that's, uh, that, that's the gist of it. They, they claim that anything that was created by ECW they own and that they, they control and, uh, and, that, and that's really the law of it. And now I could, you know, if I wanted to mortgage my home and fork up fifty seventy five thousand dollars in legal fees, I could challenge them, but, you know, it's tough to do.